going on? <laughs> what? what? Oh. Hey, I was stuck behind. I was in front. I was stuck in front of that truck for like fifty. That train. So I was thinking about a truck too. I gotta tell you about this truck. But I was. I was, <laughs> I, was I was. The train it was like fifty minutes. Oh my god! I couldn't. I was about to lose my mind. But then there was a truck on the highway. What? It wasn't. It was on a highway. First of all, this. Listen to this. And it wasn't like a little side street. It wasn't a garbage truck or recycling truck. I don't know what it was. I don't know what company it was. But it said on the back of it in big letters: "Warning: This truck." stops and reverses frequently and without warning what <laughs> why would if whatever company that is but that's what your truck does maybe you need a new truck or maybe that's not doesn't say but i drove behind it for a while because i kind of want to see if it would stop or reverse without warning i didn't thankfully that's how i'm able to be here because if it did i wouldn't yeah i wouldn't be here <laughs> frequently and without warning Okay, hey, my case, you watch, uh, I, one of my loyal subscribers, you always say killing it, hashtag killing it. Look, it says killing it on my shirt. Killing it, can you read? Yeah. So I don't normally wear sleeveless tees. I'm not that much of a D-bag, but I like to uh, dress like a greaser for this one. So kind of dress like a greaser. Here come the hobos. All right. I'm in Tulsa, Oklahoma. The shooting locations, from The Outsiders, one of the best movies ever made. Probably the greatest book ever written, let's be honest. Now, I'm gonna show you my favorite locations from it. I'm not gonna go to all of them. I'm in a little neighborhood, I get, I'm not, I don't know where, North Tulsa. So I'm gonna go to my favorite locations from The Outsiders. Not all of them. I'll show you my three or four favorite. I usually just, I'm trying to just do maybe like three from, uh, the outside deserves every location. <sighs> no, but I'm only gonna do three, maybe four. But the main one is right here in front of me. I'm gonna start with the big one. No, I'm gonna end with the big one. Well, you're gonna see all of them. Here's where the Curtis brothers lived. And guess where they lived? Look at this sign. So that's not the truck, but those guys are really cool. Look, they just stopped there and asked me if this was the outside house. They lived here. They should know that. Look, that's where they lived in the outsiders. Now, uh, full disclosure, yesterday I actually came out here. She almost fell. Yesterday I came out here and actually scouted the locations beforehand because I wanted to make sure. I don't know what I wanted to make sure. I, just, I was just so excited to be in Tulsa that I had to see the outside house as soon as I got here. So, Danny Boy from House of Pain, remember the band House of Pain? It has shamrocks and shenanigans, Jump Around was their biggest hit. He bought this house. preserve it and it's gonna make a museum I'm gonna show you what they're doing in the back how they're working on it but yeah the outside house is soon gonna be open to the public it's not right now I can't get in there but I want to all around this area in Tulsa is where they shot the outsiders now they shot it in various parts of uh, some other little towns in Oklahoma but mostly right in this little neighborhood I'm gonna show you a lot of those locations let's go around take a look at the side of the house if your name is pony boy that'd be pretty cool Wanna come here, sweetheart? Hmm. I apologize because it is windy. And I'm outside. But I think you can hear me okay. So this is the side of the house going down here. Now look here, this building behind it. This, I guess, would be where the museum is going to be in, obviously. You're gonna be able to tour the house and they're probably gonna have memorabilia and such in here. I thought they'd be out working on it today. Ah, oh, this is... A big project, I guess.
Look behind here. Look, look, are you looking? This is the alleyway. And in this alleyway is where the Soch jumped uh, Pony Boy and where they cut his hair and cut him. Right? Is that what happened? I'm trying to remember for now. It's been a while. But yeah, back here. Look at this. I'm behind the outside of the house now. It seemed to be less windy in the alleyway. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Um, I think it was 1982 or 1983, the movie. Was it 1982 or 83? I think it was 82. I saw it on video so many times, but my, when it came out on video, I was little and I wanted to see it. And my father said, okay, you can rent it, but you know, and I'm gonna rent my own movie, blah, blah, blah. I said, no, you're gonna watch Outsiders with me. You're gonna watch Outsiders with me. And he's like, no, 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 I don't wanna watch a movie about a bunch of kids getting killed. I said, no, you're gonna watch it with me. You're gonna watch it with me. He said, I'm not watching, I don't wanna see it. My father was the nicest man ever, so sweet. He's like, no, I can't watch it. I don't wanna see a bunch of kids getting killed. And I said, no. You watch it with me. He ended up watching it with me three times. <laughs> Twice back to back and once again the next morning before we had to return the movie to the video store. Remember those? Yeah. So the movie reminds me of my father a lot because it's the first time seeing it. Um, yeah. So I recognize also that other people have been out here to do filming locations of The Outsiders. I normally don't check to see I go check online to see if I, I just think of a location I want to go to or whatever and then I go to it and I don't I never check to see if other people but I did for the outsiders because I was going to specific locations I was like I wonder if anybody's ever been to that I wonder if anybody's been to that and I've got a couple places that nobody's ever been to from the outsiders or maybe one well we'll see and uh, yeah so I recognize that other people have been out before and maybe got to get a kid a little more accurate screen comparisons of me maybe but the more the merrier i say and this is my own personal slant on it the cat's still there oh yo pony boy so here's the house now i'm not going to go in order of the movie because you see the house a few times but when they leave for the rumble they come out of here uh tom cruise does a backflip somewhere around here patrick Swayze does a handstand here They walk right down this over to the park, which isn't far from here. You can actually see the park. Out of the corner of my eye, I can see it. You're not gonna be able to see it though on camera. I'm gonna take you there. But yeah, this is where the Curtis brothers lived. Patrick Swayze, Rob Lowe, C. Thomas Howell. Yeah, I've seen him Howell. Have you? <laughs> Stay gold. All right. Now, I'm gonna take you to the park where Pony Boy and Johnny Cade get jumped by the socials. Let's go. So, this is Crutchfield Park in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and this is where all the sh went down. This is where Pony Boy and Johnny Cade got jumped by the socials, and where Johnny Cade, if you haven't seen the movie, spoiler alert, here it comes. Johnny Cade stabs Bob the Soch right here at this fountain is where it all went down. Ooh, there's a plaque on the ground. I wonder if it's something to do with the outsiders. I don't know. All right, so they're playing on the, uh, Johnny and Pony Boy were on the old playground. It's not here anymore. Have a new one or that could have been just for the movie that those uh, bars they had set up that they were playing on hanging out on they weren't really playing they were teenagers well who knows what they were doing they're hanging out they were chilling because they were greasers and that was, that's what greasers do anyways so it would have been right around here the monkey bars and here's the fountain that's no longer here but the, apparently part of the fountain has been found well, i'm gonna give you some trivia as we go along the way outside trivia because i know a lot about that movie <sighs> i love it uh 
Apparently somebody found part of the fountain and it's gonna be on display somewhere. Hmm, that's really cool. So the fountain is still in existence, it's just not here anymore. Somebody owns it. I'd like to own that. This wading pool presented to the children of Tulsa by Frank H. Reed and Isabel S. Reed, 1945. I would have been two. So yeah, right here is where the fountain was. So the Soches, I guess, uh, I'm trying to remember from the movie now. Of course, I didn't watch it before I came out. The car, the Soches car would have driven up this street. Or would it have been this street? I don't think it was that street because there was houses. There's no houses there. Would have been that street where the Soches drive up and drive into the park. I'll figure it out. I'll get you the right angle. Definitely the uh, where the fountain used to be. As you can see, they set it up right here. I, now, I don't know if the fountain was built for the movie and that's why it was taken away. I don't know that part. I'd like to find that out. But it is, uh, I guess they must have set it up just for the movie. Because if it's the waiting pool was dedicated in 1945, there was a waiting pool here. That would make sense, right? And that's why the fountain's not here. Does that make sense? It makes sense to me. I have to sit in the gazebo and I have to think. Yeah, I don't know. I've thought hard and long, about 30 seconds, and my head started to hurt, so I don't know. I'm gonna take you now to a location from the outside. I don't think a lot of people know where it is, and I figured it out. I did a lot of detective work. I use this. The rumble scene. The rumble scene did not happen in this park. It happened in a vacant lot, which is not too far from here, which is no longer vacant, but I'm gonna show you where it happened. I'm really comfortable in the gazebo. You know how many times I've said that in my life? I'm really comfortable in the gazebo. Like 18 times. Really comfortable in the gazebo. I'm really comfortable in the gazebo. Goodbye, gazebo. Goodbye. As a train whistles in the distance, the police siren off to the side. Ooh. All right, I'm gonna do a quick layup and then I'll get to the next location. Oh my god. Okay, I did that. Yeah, so it looks like, so the rum, this, I'm at the rumble scene location, which is literally a 30 second walk from Crutchfield Park where I just was, but it's taking me half an hour to get here. Why? Because as, as I was getting back to my car, a man in one of the houses across from that park started yelling something to me and asked me to come over, a really large man, on his front porch. And my car is right in front of his house, so I had to go closer. And he asked, he was asking me about helping him read something. So I went over and he said, come on, come closer, come closer. I was a little, you know, what's, what's happening here? So it was the Bible. He didn't want to help me read. He wanted to quote scripture to me. And it, scripture mixed with a lot of anger and swearing and uh it was very interesting i asked if i could film him take a picture he was vehemently against that because he does not 
something about the souls of people inside cameras and then there's stuff inside my car from B to B. It was a lot of, he loves, pe he, lo he hates people, but he loves their souls. And then, but video cameras and things like that have robbed people of their true soul and it can take your soul. So yeah, literally that just happened. That was nuts. So I can't show you, I, can't, I wish I could have showed you that or at least got a picture of him, but he was really against it. But it was kind of weird, but I talked to him for a long time on his porch. I talked to him for a while. Well, he talked, I just listened. And finally I said, okay, I gotta get out of here. I gotta go and he let me leave, but he kept talking to me as I was getting in the car. Then he said, I love you, brother. And I said, I love you too, man, peace. All right. So this is where the rumble scene happened, right behind me. This used to be a vacant lot, all down this part here. As you can see behind, it, there is a lot behind. These houses are newer. So right in here, you can see this street. This is where the socials come up and they park right along here in the movie. You see this street here. I believe you can see even a speed hump. They call them speed bumps in other parts of the country, in Canada. I've never seen speed hump, they call them speed bumps, but that's okay. And you can see, I believe that house or whatever house was on that lot before. And so it would have come right up here and driven right along here. And in back here is where the rumble scene was. This is where that big fight scene happened. Right down past this house. There's a big empty lot, so I believe these two or three houses weren't here. Yeah, I wonder why they didn't film it in the park. But you see there's an old fence here that's part of the vacant lot. That's it, just this is it, that's what's remaining. But here, this is just about the angle right here. There, comes along here. To here. And you know what's funny is if you watch, I watched the rumble scene uh, like over and over again to get, uh, to make sure I was in the right spot, like landmarks and stuff. So I know I'm in the right spot for it. But if you watch the rumble scene enough times, you see how choreographed it is. Like, as much as I love TC, you know I love Tom Cruise, like the best actor ever. He does some, I don't know, I could, I could he stops. Then he starts to get into the fight, then he waits, he does a spin, does a roll. It's very choreographed. It, it, then all of a sudden, it looks like they're halfway through, Francis Ford Coppola directed and said, okay, just do what you want. Because it's very un-choreographed uh, all of a sudden. It's very cool to see. Okay. That's just why if you want to talk about the rumble scene. Yeah. Yeah, all hell breaks loose in that rumble scene, like about a minute in, a minute and a half in, it's just before the socials take off and leave. You can just tell it. It's just, they were like, they're kicking at stuff, nobody's there. They're swinging, and then they're falling in the mud, and then the socials just run off. So it doesn't really end with like a big greaser win. It's just kind of like the socials just all of a sudden wander off. There's no big ending to that little scene. It's just weird. I think they just, they, they had so much of the beginning choreographed, and then they're just like, ah, oh, just, just, just run away. Yeah, so Dally, when he comes, can't be a fight without Dallas Winston, or whatever he says, something like that, something along the lines, you know it's not a rumble unless I'm here, something like that. What it came from over there. I'll show you right now. So these are the new houses from that way to join the greasers who are waiting right here. But I'm telling you, after this, watch the rumble scene. You can see it on, on here on YouTube. You can watch just the rumble scene. You can see halfway through, it just looks like they're no, it's no longer really choreographed and, and kind of a little, little fake looking. 
I find some of the I find that fight scene, and then it just looks unchoreographed, and the the socials they're all kicking and stuff at each other, and then nobody's really getting hit, and the socials are kind of just, they're falling, everybody's falling through the mud, and then the socials just kind of get up and sort of walk off, run off. It's very funny. It's very funny to watch. There's no big punch or big thing to end that scene. It's just you know the beast win, and then they're all cheering right here, and Dally takes Pony Boy to see Johnny because Johnny's about to. Okay, a few other locations coming. I just thought of another one I want to see. It's right in this area. And then I'm going to go to one more. Stick with me. The Outsiders. Oh, by the way, did you know Francis Ford Coppola's daughter, Sofia Coppola, who directed Virgin Suicides, an amazing movie filmed in Toronto, my hometown, and also directed, what was the other one with Bill Murray, Lost in Translation. She is the young girl that comes up to Dallas and Ponyboy when they're in the car after, uh, the, after Ponyboy bleaches his hair, like after... When they go to the uh, Tasty Freeze or the Dairy Queen, whatever it is, a young girl comes up and asks for a dime, and Dally tells her to go away. That's Fran Support Coppola's daughter, Sofia. That's her. Did you know that? Now you do. So there's that thing behind me. I don't know what that is. Looks like a guard tower or something. Keep a watch me and Dally who was shot right here at this intersection watch that scene this is how it this is how it goes down ready I'll show you can you hear me it's so windy I'm sorry and Dally gets shot by the police and stumbles through this intersection only to die right here See that baseball diamond in the background and see the gazebo there's the gazebo sitting the fountains right over there it's so windy wind stop no so yeah please dally greasers Running. Stumbling. Dying. Dally. Dead. Did you know that S.E. Hinton, the author of The Outsiders, plays the nurse in the hospital scene talking to Dallas? Yeah, that's S.E. Hinton. That's the author. Oh, Flea from the Red Hot Chili Peppers. He plays a Soch in the movie. I'm not sure what scene. I can't find him but I know that he's in it. He does a cameo. If anybody knows exactly what part he's in and can send me a screen capture, I would like that because I'd like to know what scene Flea is in. Doom, 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 Flea. Amazing bassist. All right. Let's got to move it along. Sorry. All these digressions. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. See that empty lot? That's where Johnny Cade's house was in the movie. house is gone now but yeah it's torn down but Johnny K lived right there and then when his parents were fighting again he took off to the park to sleep mm-hmm we all know what happened next So I gotta tell you, every time I see like big football like fields in the back of high schools in America, it's just like so John Hughesy and, and Outsidersy. 
Because we don't have that in Canada. Growing up, it's our high schools are a lot smaller. They're not the size of this high school. We never have bleachers and big football fields in the back. We only play football in Canada like growing up really on no. It's hockey, hockey, hockey. We have arenas everywhere, but nothing like this. So it always just fascinates me. And how big it is. Like the size of it. This school now is huge. This school is where Essie Hinton went, where she wrote The Outsiders, I believe for a class project. I, th I think in seventh grade did she write it? It's all from memory. Yeah, I believe it was seventh grade. If you see behind the trees here, look at this architecture of this school. I'm not sure how long it's been around for, but it's home of the Ropers. That's what it says on the big sign up front. The sign over there, Will Rogers High School, home of the Ropers. So, from Three's Company, well, they went from here to Three's Company, the Ropers. That's pretty cool. Look at that. Now, school is in session, so I'm not going inside to find the classroom, but look at this architecture. Come on. That's cool. And that's towards downtown Tulsa, right there. What are they? Oh my God. Feels like the villagers are coming to get me. It sounds like it. All right, good for you guys. Get that touch touchdown. I don't know. Yeah. All right, I'm taking you to one last place from the movie. Then I gotta collapse somewhere for a little bit because this has been sweat inducing. And I've talked on and on and on. I've talked to myself. I'm, talk I'm talking myself to sleep right now. All right, let's go. This is the big one. This is cool. All right, this is it, the last location. It's loud, I'm beside a highway. I drove on that highway like four times last night, right past this location when I was scouting locations, not knowing that this location was right here. I was right down the street and I got gas. It was right here. I didn't come out and look at it, but I'm seeing it right now and you're gonna see it. This is really cool. Here it is, the drive-in from The Outsiders. What do you think? That's awesome. <sighs> yeah. How cool would it have been if it was showing the outsiders? Really cool. So they would have come in over there fence goes all the way around but it's just an old rickety fence but it is barbed wired goes all around the property as you can see to keep people like myself and greasers from sneaking in but I'm a greaser I ain't no social Well, if I can get closer to the fence over there, I will. But I think it's there's a school over there. Uh, and what's over there? It looks like an empty field on the other side. Maybe there's a row beside it. I'll take a look. If not, I'm going to wrap it up here. It is so loud by the highway. It's so windy. If I have to redo the sound for this whole video, I'm going to get really stressed, man. I'm going to get really stressed. There's the drive-in from the Outsiders. Okay? I think I gave you all the trivia if, that I could think of. Yeah, go watch The Outsiders when you're done watching this. Uh, yeah, I can't think of any other trivia right now off the top of my head. The heat is literally go gone into my brain and it feels like it's melting from the inside and it's gonna start coming out my ears, nose, mouth. You get the drill. Outsiders, greases forever. Peace, out. Upon the moment, long ago.
All right, dog. I'm trying to sing. One breath away and there you will be. So young and carefree. Again, you will see that place in time. So gold. Hello, how are you? Good for you. There's the drive and I just sang a little Stevie Wonder, Stay Gold. That's right. I'm shameless. Hmm. What can it be when we can see so vividly a memory? Yes, you'll say so must the day to break. Yo, soda, here come the hobos. Not a different scene, but still. I like that quote, it's my favorite quote. Yo, soda, here come the hobos. Tom Cruise says that. So the fence would be down here somewhere in these bushes. Here's the back of the drive-in right here. You can see there's the entrance, the drive-in. So Pony Boy, and Dally and Johnny would have snuck in somewhere over here or this fence line here but there's a school right here uh, and I don't want to and it's in session and I don't want to be the creepy guy going through the bushes and the trees next to a school when school is in session so I'm gonna leave it at that even from right here so they would have snuck in somewhere around over there see fence line goes all the way back really far back there and around and this way towards where I am right now I'll insert a little show you that little scene like some stills from it yeah that's what they were looks like a lot of people sneak in though look at that yeah <laughs> you can see like the marks of people sliding under keeping the greasers dream alive i love it welcome to welcome to greaser world all right I said all right like I had something else to say I don't. 